What's up, everybody? Hey, Zeus Esparza here. Well, I would think about if I may interest um this kind of duo pack from Spin Master Monster Jam, but it's really not my my interest or something. But um, I just go ahead and decided to um get them so I could review this for you all. So it's kind of be something interesting that something that Spin Master Monster Jam has has never been done. It's kind of like, just like the Hot Wheels Monster Jam days, where like the Duro Pack with the Hot Wheels car and the Monster Jam diecast truck. And now the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks um, continue their Duo Pack of theirs with the Hot Wheels car and the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks in one pack. And now Spin Master and Monster Jam, now they're doing theirs. But um, it was kind of like, um, like a race car or something. It was kind of like NASCAR. Diecast kind of like um like Kevin Harvick did like the the Grave Digger from last year. Um, I don't know that, but this is come from last year that Kevin Harvick Kevin Harvick used to, to race with the Grave Digger paint scheme, and um and yeah, that's how it looks like. And it's like a a Monster Jam and NASCAR collaboration or something, but now Spin Master is making theirs. And Mo Spin Master Monster are making theirs to make it like the duo pack. And it looks pretty neat. Um But but those ones, um the Monster Jam and Spin Master the Spin Master Monster Jam duo pack with um, a race car and a Monster Jam diecast truck that you may only get them exclusively at Walmart. You can see on the Walmart's um stickers on them because those are those are exclusive at Walmart, so you had to you had to go pick it up and if you are a Monster Jam and NASCAR fan all at once, this is a duo pack that you should get. And they look something um, very interesting to see Monster Jam, NASCAR um, collaborates or something. And, um, but there's only Grave Digger, Monster Mat, Domation, and El Toro Loco. And, um, and their race cars kind of like, um, they look very, very neat. And, and for those of you, um, they were like kind of like NASCAR licensing, well, obviously not. Is not a licensing con contract or something, or it's not like a licensing um um licensing tooling or something because of you know it was inspired kind of casting, kind of like for um like a NASCAR um diecast or something like that. But um, it'll be cool if NASCAR and Spin Master should should make a offer or something or. Or Spin Master, if they get a NASCAR contract or something, it would be cool if they can make the NASCAR diecast kind of like these, how like Spin Master is doing. It'll be cool. But um, it was but but and again, those kind of castings are like are inspired casting. It's not a licensing casting, as like um, Ryan Alman, aka Mashiyam City has mentioned, because um, some of them are gonna be only like um inspired kind of castings. They're not licensing, so. You had to you had to understand that from him. So, but anyway, so let's I'll go ahead and unboxing them. But first, let's get look at it. Get started. Um, here's Grave Digger, as you've seen from Kevin Harvick. Um, uh, car becomes reality, but there looks looks very amazing. Comes with the Grave Digger one sixty four diecast truck and and there's Monster Mat Dalmatian. That looks very neat. Um, very neat. Um. And then El Toro Loco. Yeah, there's only three of them. Like series one. So I wonder what kind of these Monster Jam trucks should they gotta make um make next. So I'll get to that in a bit. So right now I'll go ahead and unboxing these three and we're gonna see up close for them to that for them and see um let's see up close to see what kind of um, like details or something. I'll be back just in a bit. Um by the way. I just unboxing it, but wow, that's not a nice new packet packing packing for for this kind of duo pack. And yeah, this this one for the hold for the a race car um, packaging to so go with that duo pack and very nice packing for the Spin Master team for um, you know make something like a pack packaging of the. Of a Monster Jam truck and kind of like a race car diecast. Well, that's very special for this one. But anyways, just want to show how like the packaging looks like and looks very nice. 
Okay, I'll go ahead and unbox the rest. Here we are. Got those trucks and the cars are unboxed and let's get them up close. Well, well, not kind of much for the Monster GM diecast trucks that we already seen them in the past. So here's a grave digger. Looks very neat. Um, here's Monster Mat Dalmatian. And kind of, nothing's going to it, but the ears are still like, um, you know, up like as, as Ryan Alvin, aka Monster Jam City, has mentioned, the ears needs to be, um, needs to be down. So that's the only thing that he mentioned. And El Toro Loco, um, not that kind of excitement much. And, um, we already seen this before in a different chassis, but we're going to talk about, um, those race cars of NASCAR inspired kind of like, here's Grave Digger. Let me get the moves out of the way. So, yeah, you couldn't see in the dark, in the light. So, here's Grave Digger. And by far, this is a very good casting. And, um, and there's a Grave Digger. You've seen, like, how Kevin Harvick, um, how he used to uh, do to race from last year. And this is uh, the bo that kind of body style in the paint scheme, how it looks like in reality. And this is a very cool, very cool, um, to see this made in a 164 scale. And yeah, it has like um, a graveyard on it. And um, the Grave Digger logo. And a ghost. And the Grave Digger on a hood. And and uh, flames. Grave Digger bat to the bone. And um, it had the Monster Jam logo on the back. MonsterJam.com. And, and oh yeah, you can see here. Well, you cannot see the lighting. The lighting was so bad, so my apologies for this, but this is all I have. But th there is a triangle on it that right here in the grill in the grill printing like this is like a monster jam. And for those of you wondering what how it looks like on the bot on the bottom, well this is like um an engine, mufflers, but there it says there's a monster jam logo underneath them because of this is where it is from. And and again, this is like an, an inspired kind of it's inspired casting. It's all inspired casting. It's not the licensing casting for NASCAR. So, so this is how this is like inspired tooling. How inspired casting looks like, and it looks very neat. Um, yeah, it looks very awesome to see it been made into like a NASCAR inspired kind of um, to, uh, toolings, castings, and um, body kind of type. Looks very amazing. There's Grave Digger. Next up is Moxmat Dalmatian, and boy, this looks very amazing. Like polka dots um, all over the all over the the car, and and you can see the the mouth and the teeth has then sideways a very nice touch of it. There's Moxmat um, here in a collar here, Monster Jam logo, the Monster Jam logo in the back, and MonsterJam.com, and the other side, Monster Mutt, well, this is actually Dalmatian. And there's Monster Mutt Dalmatian with the the dog tag um, on the roof. Looks very neat. Um, and you can see the how it looks like. Um, Monster Jam and that's um, very nice of it. So, And finally, El Toro Loco. El Toro Loco is very, very good choice. And it has a flame, some... Um, on us on the sides and the back and um the sides there's a Toro Loco logos from both both sides and and you can see there's a nose and I bet the the ring and the flames come out of the nose very very nice of it and and the horns are on the top of the roof that's very that's very nice um Monster Jam logo the back and um MonsterGM.com and yeah, you can see the Monster GM logo on the front grill printing and and here's a, a let me see get to that there we go yeah this is very nice um to see um those kind of Monster GM um uh, NASCAR inspired castings and there you have it those are all the three um we have so far and and. This is where we're going to be glad to see Monster GM Spin Master try something different to do like a duo duo pack. Um, but they're going to do it like NASCAR inspired kind of types. And 
And that would be so very good idea if it been made. So, yeah, it sure is. Um, oh, yeah, there is one more thing I want to show you. There's something here I want to, to show you something for you all that um, and been wondering. Will those kind of the Spin Master um, NASCAR inspired kind of cars will fit into Hot Wheels track? Well, let's see them. Why, yes, it is. They could fit in the Hot Wheels track, so see how it looks like. Um, very nice. Um, yep, it could fit in the Hot Wheels track, so how it looks like. Um, there we go. Very, very fitting. And so you could use it on a Hot Wheels track, like a downhill or or something like that. I'm not sure if they may fit on those kind of boosters from the Hot Wheels um, booster or something. I'm not sure, but, um, well, you have to find out to see if you have a booster. Try those kind of, um, those Spin Master, Monster GM, NASCAR um, kind of castings like, and try to see if those boosters will, will work well on those kind of NASCAR Spin Master kind of type, so... Anyways, um, this is all I can say here, and, um, and let me put this all come together, and, and there we go. So, this is all I, this is all I have here, and they looks very amazing that, um, been made into, like, um, um, a NASCAR casting kind of type. And again, those are all inspired castings, not a licensing casting from NASCAR. It's just like an Aspired and it's their own. So, anyways, um, thank you all for tuning in and um, to to see the to review those, as we call it, Spin Master Monster GM duo set with a NASCAR and Monster GM. You know, it's kind of like collaboration thing, but they're all inspired casting. So I know that several times they're all inspired. So, so they're not not a licensing kind of type, but. They're all kind of like NASCAR, so, so, yeah, that's all I can say here. But thank you all for tuning in, and be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share, and uh, catch you all soon.